What up, what up, what up? Come here. Let's see what with this here. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? I'm going to sit here and wait it out a little bit. I know this is late. I know this is super late, but I'm going to sit here and wait it out. Let people join in real quick. Let the folks join in real quick. While we're doing all of that, I'm going to go ahead and post this on the live here. Go ahead and post this. While waiting for cats to come in, and hey, nobody may come in, so we'll see. We will see. Let me see here. This is another chill and chat. Talking edit. Another talking edit going on. I'm just going to post this on the IG, guys, real quick. And then I want to get it going. Let me know in the chat, guys, if y'all can hear me okay. Let me know in the chat that y'all can hear me okay. Hey man, I had to had to steal it, Todd, because you haven't done it in a while, so I had to had to steal your chill and chat, bro. But I'm gonna call this talk and edit though. I'm gonna talk, call it talk and edit. Yours more was a chill and talk, but this is a talk and edit. But I do have to steal it because you you've been slacking on it, bro. I'm taking that the audio is okay, guys. Just wanted to make sure. Now, as y'all know, I did drop a VP this morning, guys. If y'all haven't seen that, go check that out. Um, it was cool. It was cool. Could have done better, but it was cool. I do do like it. I did like the quick action to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. But talk, hey man, you need to jump back on it, bro. So you know, as I try to tell y'all, my oh, what's up, Bryce? How you doing? Glad you ch- jumping in, Cooley from Indiana. What is up? What is up, my bordering state of Indiana? How you doing, Cooley? Now, as y'all know, guys, my schedule was going to be, you know, either do a talk and edit on Wednesday or drop a video portrait. But today y'all going to get two because I did not release a video of BTS last Friday. So I decided to go ahead and give y'all the the VP this morning. I'm going to go ahead and give you a talk and edit as of right now. I know it's a little bit late, but, you know, hey, we'll see if anybody's doing anything out here today. So I can just jump right in. So now we're going to go ahead and start on another VP. And this VP is going to be... Let's go ahead and click over here. Get right to it. Here it is right here. So I can see that name up. Oh, hang on. I got to I gotta remember to switch these freaking views, man. I'd be forgetting. All right. Here we go. Now, as you can see, guys, video. I'm going to go ahead and do another VP today. Um, go, ahead, go ahead and start this one up, man, so we can go ahead and get this on rocking. So uh, let's just go ahead and get the... The, uh, let's see here. Desktop. There we go. All right. Go to Nicole. We're going to go ahead and import all these clips in from Nicole's VP that we did a while back. As you can see, guys, look at that date right there. It let you know how far, how far I am back on these VPs, bro. Look at that date. September the 13th, twenty. Three, bro. <laughs> so your boy is back up, but you know we're here. So that's this all that matters, man. That's all that matters. Uh, all right, let's see. Don't need to create my Let's go ahead and import these on in. All right, cool. And well, I don't know why I didn't do that. I forgot to import the uh, the music here. Uh, I'm, on this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, you know pick out some clips and stuff of that nature. Right now, I'm not really gonna. Uh, do what I did last time on that last VP where I was just kind of like, you know, cutting to the beat. 
I will do this, you know, another time. I'll, I'll do it before the next live next Wednesday with this. I will have all my beat cuts ready to go. But I am going to go ahead and drop the music in here because I do have that already picked out. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that at the bottom because I already know what that is. But what I don't know yet is, to be honest with you, I don't know how long I want to have this. So we are going to do a quick listen here to see if I can visualize how long I want this to be. Let's see here. Um, All right. I'm liking the tone of this right now. It's sounding pretty good. Let's see how long I'm going to get this. Uh, so far, so good. It just don't sound like it got like a lot of big shift in the music or switching tones here. So I don't think it's gonna be kind of difficult like I had that last time, uh, simply because that last one I was really battling like him just doing his verses and things of that nature. This one's pretty pretty solid though. So. I think I'm going to pretty much stop this one probably at the 130 mark, somewhere in that range. 130, 145 for this one. <sighs> yeah, I think this will probably be pretty solid. Let's see the 130, see what else this kind of music got going. I actually like this part here, see? Yeah, I actually like that to end it. Yeah, I like that part actually to end it. So, we're gonna end it in there. Cause I actually like that part a lot better. All right, so we got the end point. So it's about a minute and 38 seconds. All right, that's pretty cool. Minute and 38 seconds. Man, how did y'all guys enjoy y'all Easter's guys? If y'all do celebrate y'all Easter, let me know how y'all enjoy y'all Easter. Uh, me, I didn't do nothing but work, man. So that's all I kind of did was just work. Uh, now, also, guys, this is the first time me looking at this clip since September the 13th, 2023. So with that being said, uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I don't remember. I kind of remember these clips and I know it was, it was more like a car theme. Uh, I know if y'all follow uh, Nicole D'Amato, like I said, she's we did this. This is probably like our second shoot we did together or something of the nature. Second or maybe third. I think it was the second, actually. Um, but uh, we decided to do a, a VP, as, as you can see, but we wanted to kind of do it as a car theme. So this is actually going to be my first car theme slash urban garage because you know your boy like doing this urban garage series, right? Um, VP here. So it's going to be kind of interesting. But she did uh, – Post the pictures a long time ago. Uh, I just never did, but because it was my my focus was more centered around it being a VP, so I just took those pictures just for her. But they came out pretty good though, actually those pictures. So, but as you can see, we have the car. So this car is pretty loud. See if I got some good audio to this thing. I didn't have a mic on, so. I guess I'm going to use some sound effects, which is cool. All right. Yeah, I definitely should have plugged in my mic here, but I didn't. So I can get the sound of the car a little bit more. And that was on my fault right there. So now I'm about to use some fake car sounds. Yeah, I should have. All right, I'm going to go ahead and review all these clips here and see what I got here. I just want to see what I got. 
because I don't remember any of these. All right, I know the first half was nothing but car stuff. Just trying to really take advantage of the cars. Let's see, that sounds pretty good. Let me see. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I could actually probably use that one. Yeah, I could probably use that. I could probably clip that and audio that up pretty good and make it sound pretty good and use this throughout the clip, actually. Yeah, I could probably use that definitely. Um, let's see here. Let's see. So I just want to see what I got here. I'll stop that there. I don't really I think I'll stop. I just want to fast forward it through. Let's see what I got. Okay. All right. Look at your boy over here getting some detail shots. All right. I must I did. I must I was taking this VP very serious. I got some got some detail shots out here. Let's see here. Yeah, working with the detail shots, man. But I do remember I was shooting with the 85 on this thing, though. So I had the 85 because, as you can see, he was, like, way across the street. So I wanted to kind of bring that up. So the only thing I have that long was the 85. So I used the 85 with a gimbal during this first part of everything. Uh, definitely for these shots and everything because we was, like, going up for uh, – four levels of garage so I was just kind of like follow them up each each level and I was just kind of like make sure I like got different uh it's starting to come back to me after I'm watching looking at these clips now um and so each level I made sure I just stopped and like make sure I got details you can see right here I'm getting detail shots and um yeah so I make sure that's that's what kind of was happening at each level so now I kind of came here and got some more detail shots in the front Oh yeah, your boys out here was doing this thing. I guess I got I was being serious about this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Hey, man, I got some serious shots here. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hey, man. Hey man, don't make fun of me, Tog man. Don't make don't make fun of me, man. Honestly, uh, man, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I, I think I've said this plenty of times before in my lives. Like, yo, I really do enjoy doing the uh, these VPs, but for me, the short, the just to edit in short front form, like these VP, they always take me a while, and I always dread it because it just takes me such a long time. My, and my and my mind just, and my mind just don't sit right. You know what I'm saying? So, but. But I will say, once I get into it and really start editing and start putting together, it does go by pretty quickly. Um, again, this was, I think this is going to go by pretty quickly because I did have a shot licks in mind. Cause like, again, I'm, since I'm reviewing these and looking at these clips for the first time in a while, I see that I definitely had sh a certain shot, shots in mind that I was going to do. And I assumed like I did. So this one's actually going to be super, super fast for me to put together. Um, the one with uh, Samantha that I just po posted today, that one. Um, took me a while because it was just like I was just out there just to kind of shoot, just kind of do some things. So I really didn't have anything in mind, so I was just out there shooting to shoot. Uh, but I will say again, and and to talks life credit again, he he did a video a while back about just kind of making a shot list. It does really do help you guys if y'all going to go any type of filmmaking or anything of that nature. It really does help you to go ahead and put together a shot list either in your head or write it down on paper. Because when you come back in the editing, because that's what really saves you the time, is when you come back in the editing room and you already have everything laid out. And all you got to do is just kind of put the shots together and it makes it 10 times better. I think uh, I think one of the one of the ones v VPs that I did that I had a shot list that when I came back to edit was the JoJo one that I did with the uh, the Buwar that I did with her, the Buwar v uh, VP that I did with her. That was super simple. When I, once I got into that, it was just super easy for me to edit because I just knew everything. I already had shot list in mind with that situation. So that was super e simple to do. And I do have another one coming up as well uh, with um, with Haley, but that one's going to be, that was video focus centric as well. Um, so that should be a little bit uh, easier as well to do that as well. So that will be the next one after this one will be uh, the Haley one that I got that I've been having. So let's just go ahead and go back and review these clips here. As again, just more. Let's see here. Just trying to get the cars at different angles again, guys. The focus of this VP was definitely 
a um, you know the model in the car. So the car is definitely going to take the first half of this. I ain't gonna say the first half, but it is going to be the main part. As you can see, uh, it was her, her boyfriend. A uh, boyfriend was driving the car, obviously. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit difficult out as well when I do these shots because I got to make it seem like she's driving the car. As you can see, you can see a hand there, but I guess you can't really tell if that's a male, female, if I, if I didn't tell you. But uh, so some of these shots, you could definitely see him in it, even though the, the windows was tinted. So I got to try to, those are kind of things I want to be worried about when I'm putting this together, when I'm p trying to put this car stuff together. But I should be able to get it taken care of. See, like right there. So, like, obviously, this shot is just can't. It's just no good. Even though I love this shot, how straight up playing, you got the enter and no enter. I love this shot, but obviously, you can't see her in it. So, you, you know, see him in it. So, it's just not a good shot to, to be used. But I definitely love this shot right here. Could have been a good shot, but hey, you ain't gonna use that in the clip. Again, that's just me coming up four flights of stairs again, and I was just trying to do different type of things to make sure that I get everything. So I could probably use a little bit of this clip here before he starts rolling. All right, and then we get on the rooftop where I got more things. Let me see. Okay, let me see what's going on over. Sorry, guys. Huh, that is facts, Bryce. That is, and I'm, I'm I got a horrible memory, so I definitely need to <laughs> write it down. You, you want one hundred percent right? Oh, uh, the reason why I didn't have her drive because it was manual, and then the boyfriend was not. Yeah, that was first and foremost. It's a manual. It was a manual transmission. She do not know how to drive a manual transmission. That's the reason why she was not driving. All right, let's see here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Definitely this scene from here looks really great. Right here with the clouds in the back, that looks really good. I'm definitely going to use that shot here. That looks really great, actually. Yeah, from here, because that's all blown out right there. So as soon as I turn it from here, uh, let's see here. I know y'all can't. I'm pointing with my hand, but let's see here. As soon as the car comes around, as you can kind of see, it's all blown out right here. But as this spot right here, because obviously the sun was back there. So and I was exposed for the car. But as soon as it comes around, it actually looks really, really good. Let me get about here. It actually looks really, really good. Clouds look pretty solid too, so that's a good shot. I like this shot actually. I like it a lot. And I had a little rotation with it too, so I actually like this shot a lot. Definitely gonna use that. I can't use this because then I'm in the I'm in the uh, frame there, as you can see me right here. So I definitely can't use this clip because you can see me off the reflection. So there that is. And no, I did not use a polarizer, guys, because I know I could have used polarizer to take the reflection off of things, things. But I actually wanted it. So just to kind of add, because I wanted the clouds and the reflection of the building on the car, I thought it made it more um, interesting. So I just didn't want to, like, kill all the reflections with my polarizer. I just think it just gives it a lot more uh, dimension. Uh, with it like this, when you just have all those things with, with the lighting hitting it, as you can see, it just gives that really, really nice look right there. You got the suns in the building, got the clouds, it just makes the car look pretty good, I think. I just have him drive a little forward right here. Again. Yeah. Look at us getting those detail shots, man. All right. Getting the detail shots. All right, and then we finally get on top of the roof there. Oh, I love it when it hits that sun like that, too. Look at that. Bam. Ah, look at that. I killed it. I killed it right there. Shadow of me right here. Well, well, well. Let's see how much of this I can probably use, because I do like it when it hits the sun. Now, you can even see me back here, but I guess if I'm going to be editing these clips, they're going to be going so fast anyway, you're really not going to notice me in the background. 
So this one's not so bad. So I like it when the sun hits it. So I'll probably just use it from there. But man, it's going to be, yeah, I guess I could about right here and then probably stop it there before I start getting a shadow on myself. Yeah, then stop it there. I'll probably use that clip. That's a pretty good clip. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would think, uh, yeah, Bryce, like, and obviously these VPs are going to go pretty quick. The clips are going to go quick. So obviously you're not going to see me, but it just kind of bothers me sometimes. It's more like a, a personal thing, honestly, for me, because, you know, putting together, you, you would never ever see my shadow. Um, but I just like, like trying to use it. I love just trying to doing it, um, using it without me being there. It's just, it's just more like a personal thing, preference for me, honestly. But sometimes I do though, because like the VP I dropped this morning, I had a couple of shadows with myself in there. Obviously, you can't tell because, like I said, those cut those they they cut up so quickly, so it it doesn't really make a difference. But so sometimes I do if I ha if I really want the clip, I have nothing else to go with. I would definitely use my my shadow in it. But in this standpoint, though, I think it kind of messes up everything when you got this when the sun kind of hits the car and it comes out nicely. Then it's like a shadow of me right there that pops up. And it's just like I don't know, it just don't make it look good. And then the whole shadow miss me coming right there, so I won't be able to use that clip. But I'll be able to use this clip with my shadow. Let's see here. Cause let's see. My shadow's back here. As you can see, my shadow's back here. So let's. So if I can, I could probably use it when my, my shadow gets off the car. So like about right here. So that looks pretty good. Cause I think the sun and it makes the car look good. I think it looks really, really good actually with the lighting on the car. Let's just go ahead and go through here. Yeah, see, I could definitely use that clip there. I could probably speed ramp it actually, guys. Probably like uh getting up in here, probably speed ramp it here. Hit it like a slow mo right here. And then probably speed ramp it until my shadow's out of it. And then just do something slow from right here. It's what I'll probably end up doing with that clip. <laughs> Yo, man, make sure you do, make sure you do that one right there. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> all right, uh, all right, man. These clips are actually looking really, really good, man. Definitely of the car. They're definitely looking really good. Definitely got a lot of shots. Like I said, most of this is going to be. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah, I'm definitely liking. Um, yeah, I'm definitely liking these clips. All right, let's see what else is around here. So the car clips are good. So, all right, now I obviously have to put Nicole in the car when she got up there finally to make it seem like she's driving a little bit. So let's see here, which kind of sucks, guys, because <laughs> as you can see, which is which is kind of going to make this. But as you can see, if y anybody knows how to dr dr drive a manual before or know how to, you can see the e-brake is up. So that kind of takes away the illusion that <laughs> she's actually driving. So, uh, But obviously, I'm not, I won't start it there because I know about manual. So I actually will probably start it here when the e-brake is out. About right here. And let's see what we got here. Yeah. I probably have something of that nature. Okay, that works out. Yeah, so I can probably I can use this right here when she's looking at me pretty close and I take the e break out, but and I can use this here. But definitely nothing with that e break in there. Yeah, see I definitely like that clip. Uh this seems like another speed ramping coming around too. Let's see here. If I hold this. Have a slow mo. I'm trying to visualize what I'll do with this clip here. Slow mo that out when she blinks. I think when she blinks, I'll probably just speed ramp it out to here. Slow it again. Yeah. And then when she's looking for it, yeah, that kind of works out. All right. So that's a good looking clip. Let's see what else I got here. I got a close up with her in the car. So that's, that works out pretty well. Uh, 
All right, that works. Yeah, that works. Definitely that e brake was, you know. Hey man, the girl don't know how to drive a manual, man. So let's see here. This looks pretty good, solid here from this view. Got her coming out. All right, that's a pretty good clip. Just gonna do a review clip here. Let's see here. Got to with the shoes. Uh, all right, let's see what else. You know what? I should have had the car face the other way because I don't like the the sun blown out like that, but it is what it is. All right. All right, looking pretty good right here. Oh, solid. Oh, sorry. Thanks, man. Thanks, Talk Life. I appreciate that. Man, going up those that ramp, man, and trying to keep up with that car on an 85, that was definitely, as you can see when I was showing those car clips when I was running, man, you can definitely see the, the up and down, obviously, because gimbals really don't, uh, you know, account for the up and down motion. So, obviously, you're going to see it, especially being on 85, is a little bit more pronounced. You can see those shakes and stuff in the nature when you're walking. But I did try to do my best of trying to ninja walk and keep up with the car going up. Cause again, I was on 85 in the garage. It was, it was a lot of, it was a lot of, uh, so I do, I do appreciate the comment of, of the, uh, on the gimbal compliment. Thank you. Now this right here, guys, as you can see those three clips of how just getting out the door, that's just me just getting different angles guys. Um, as you, as you, as you know, like I said, I definitely had a shot list in my head there. So like I had a couple of which it was up close where I was getting out, obviously so I can merge the clips together. And then I can probably use something when she's further out when she's getting out. Then I try to do a little rotation with this, which I liked. But I don't think what I should have done was come from this angle here, as you can see right here, and shot her this way, open the door. I don't hope I'm hoping that I got that, but we'll see. It was a good day out here today, too, man. It was a good day. Let's see, what was I shooting these clips at? Because, again, we were shooting this at Go Now, guys, and, you know, man, the light do not play around, man. When you're shooting at Go Now, you got you to gotta get this crap done, man. Uh, let's see here. I'm actually going to go to – let's see. I'm actually going to go to the information and see where I was shooting these at. Let's see where we're shooting at. Oh, 1250. Huh. 1250 ISO. So it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I guess while I'm here, I should be changing all these to the Cine LUT anyway. I'm doing all these. I'm doing all of that. All right. Let's see what this is looking like. All right, so I did get that angle. All right, did get that angle. Hopefully I got the other angle, but it looks like I didn't. Look at that right there. That's some good work right there. Hey, that was a good one take right there. Yeah, that was actually excellent one. That was a great one take. That was a good one take by her. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right. Dun, dun, dun. 
Let's see, we're trying to add some motion here. See what it did there. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Add a lot of motion on this one. Uh, I'm trying to remember which. Uh, I got a gimbal back here, a Feiyu Tech, and uh, they actually have the wheel on the side, so I kind of like I have a program where I can actually have it just like going side to side like that. Uh, I think I use this one for that. That's the reason why I'm able to get these like this. I don't. I don't think I necessarily. I don't think I was handheld with this with my rig on this one. I think I used the Feiyu Tech gimbal. And set it up with the with the wheel on the side where I was able to turn it and, and get those those motions like this really quickly. And the reason why it's going so quickly, obviously, guys, because I'm going to slow it down. So uh, that's the reason why I was like turning like my turns are like really, really vicious and kind of quick. Oh, look at that. That was a great shot right there, wasn't it? Look at that. Yeah, right here. That's a great shot. Yeah, that's a great shot. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see here. I think this is where we stopped for a second and we took some photos. Uh, I think that's the reason why I got why you seen the dramatic change in lighting. Because I think right here we just kind of stopped real quick and I was like, all right, let's get some photos um, real quick. So we can, uh, so I can get you some photos before it gets too dark. Cause I didn't have no lighting. I didn't bring anything. And, and I was like, this is all natural light. So I was like, let's, let's just stop real quick and get some photos. So that's the reason why you see like <laughs> the dramatic change in lighting like that quickly. Uh, cause we stopped and got some, you know, we had to stop and get some photos. And honestly, I think they are the same. Let's see here. Da -da -da. Let's see. Yeah, it's still the same ISO, the whole, the same nine. It's still the same. They, they're both the same exact ISO. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's what kind of happened on that situation. That's why I got, a, you know, what you call it, quick. All right. Yes, I do got to get a hoverboard. You're right about that. Oh man, hey Tog, I took those ads off, man. I took those ads off last time. I swear I did. I 100% did. I know because I went, I stopped it and, and, um, I stopped it in, you know, in the middle of my live and cut it off. So I did cut it off. I did, I did cut it off there. I did cut it off. I don't know why, it's, why they're doing it now. All right. So as you can see, guys, it kind of got dark pretty quickly here. So now, since I'm thinking about this now, I'm trying to figure how can we, Hmm. I guess we could still be used. I guess it wouldn't make a difference. I guess the lights makes it look pretty good. I guess the transition will be good. I'm just thinking about like far as as when I'm starting to put these clips together because it seems like I still got a lot more clips left. Uh, not that too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I only got seven. So I definitely we'll definitely end at nighttime like this. Um, let's see. Let's just go through it. Let's see what we got here. The lights definitely makes it a vibe now on the car. I think. Yeah, it's definitely a whole vibe with the car now. Yeah, definitely like with the car, with the lights going on like that. Definitely a vibe. All right. Let's put a little bit more movement into that now. Yeah, it's definitely a vibe. All right, I'm loving it. Oh, look at that right here. Now, this is a whole entire vibe. This clip right here is making me say, oh, goodness. I forgot all about that, man, with the sun and the... Man, all I wish I had was a freaking light on her, bro. That's the only thing I wish. I wish I had a light on her. Yeah, I wish I had a light on her, man. Bless. This would have made this a whole lot better, but... I'm gonna see how many clips I got because I may just like end up like ending the the video portrait like this. 
Yeah, I wish I just had a light on her, man. Yeah, because that whole view right there, man, that was pretty solid. With the sun and everything. Yeah, I wish I just had a little light on her, bro. Yeah. Well, that's how things kind of go, man. Just how things kind of go. Let's see all these clips coming up here. Let's see. It looked like, yeah, it looked like now I just finally decided to raise my ISO up on this one. Let's see, that I raised it up on the last one. Yeah, I was still at 2,500. That's only because I did want to get that sky. That's the reason why I was still so down because I wanted I wanted that sky like that. But then I was like, look, I got to get her lit up. So these next few clips are in 1,200. So I guess I, could, I, guess I did. Yeah, I guess these yeah, these are definitely gonna work, man. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Awesome stuff, man. All right, let me come over over here, see what's going on. Oh, what's up, Jones? How you doing? I appreciate you stopping by, checking us out. Appreciate that. we got here so it looked like it was actually kind of closing out with her getting inside the car so that's how we'll close this thing out let's see here Yeah, see that whole sky right here. Yeah, I just made, I actually just made, oh man. My gimbal's on, on trip mode here. Yeah, I actually just may end it, I am actually just may end it like this actually. Now thinking about it, I love this whole scenery right here. Yeah, I actually that is gonna be my end clip. I actually like it. I actually like this whole end clip like this. We're just kind of walking at the car right here. I do actually like this whole end clip. Yeah, the whole view looks good. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna end it, end it like that. Okay, so it seems like we went through the clips pretty well here. Let's see. All right, so definitely the start of this is going to be this right here. Uh, yes, I appreciate you coming through, man. Just definitely just went through all the clips. If y'all just now joined me, definitely just went through all the clips of what uh, my new VP that I'm about to do. So now I'm going to put a couple of clips in here and just go ahead and get it started that way. Just the kind of the clips I'm going to use. I'm going to get it started th that way. So let's see here. Definitely to start. Well, that man back there in his watch call kind of just ruins this for me. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'll be completely honest with you. The man just back there chilling just kind of ruins this back air for me. But I think I can probably use this right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this clip first. Then you won't be able to see the guy. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then remember, guys, I got to make sure that um, you can't really tell that a boyfriend is driving his car. So I got to make sure. 
So that's definitely going to be a clip that can be used. That's a two second clip. I probably could use let's see here. I do like this too when it gets like really, really close to me. So let's probably see what we can use here too. Do like it when it gets like super close right here. I think that's pretty I think that's something nice that can probably be used. I'm just gonna throw that down there as well. Let's see what's going on. So definitely, all right. So let's go back here. So that can probably be used and can probably transition into this right here. Again, guys, I gotta make sure that you really can't tell that it's her. And this one, you can definitely tell it's him. So, but you can't really tell from this far back. You can just tell it's a person driving. But again, if you, I think I'm gonna have to use this clip right here before I get, I think I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna stop it there. All right, put this clip down here. Put that clip down here. See, if we can find some detail shots we can probably use now. Uh, I think I got probably better shots than that. Let's see what the next one's looking like. Yeah, see, I definitely got better shots than that. But that's, that's there. this is still kind of stationary. So. Oh yeah, see, we got a lot of better shots in, in this one than that one. Yeah, so I like these better. So, all they're gonna be using this one is this first clip, but I do like how it's still rolling though. But this next clip, I think it's just better in general. Definitely from right here. It's definitely a better clip here. Yeah, stop that there. I'm gonna use this clip. And then I'm also gonna use some of these detail clips as well. Let's see what we got here. Those are pretty good detail shots here. Definitely like this shot here. Definitely love that shot. I definitely got to get in there somehow. Yeah, that definitely got to get in here somehow. Ah uh, man, I see how I'm jerky right there kind of just ruins everything. Just too much movement. Just too much movement, man. I do love that clip, but way too much movement. 
All right. So definitely let's use this clip here. Let's see here, it's, this got potential. Now again, guys, I'm picking all these clips out, but that's, this definitely don't necessarily mean I'm gonna use all these clips. I'm just kind of trying to pick out my favorite. I know I got like a kind of like a story I want to put this together in my head already, but I'm definitely going to pick out the favorites and then I will do another elimination from there to, to find out what I'm definitely going to use throughout all this. So I'm just going to jump all these here. I kind of work uh, like a, you know, a process elimination type thing. That's how I kind of do this thing. I get the 5.0 in there and I click. No, this did. I did not. But I do. I do love it starting from here, though. Let's see. I got to get it precise what I like. It's the wheel there. I do like this wheel though. Let's see how much I had in, in focus there. It's not a lot in focus. It's very, very little, but I will start it here. Let's see how this goes. Now see, I like it from here. That's the issue. I love it from there. So let's start it from here. Play this out here. Definitely love this clip here. Just coming around. Definitely love that. So we're going to put that in there. Pop that in there. Then we'll continue on what I'm doing here. Let's see. Like that. Let's see what I get here. And I like that. Oh, see, that gun, man. That, that little clip just kind of just threw everything off. But since I can slow this down, uh, let's do that. I'm going to put that in automatic speed already. See how long I can get that clip. So it's two seconds. So yeah, I could definitely work with that. Yeah, we could definitely work with that. All right. Definitely work with that. All right, let's see here. There's too much movement there. Well, I do like him moving from here. And again, you can't really tell that. Let's see here, start from here. Uh, just too much movement, man. Too much movement's ruining everything. It's ruining everything, really. All right, let's see. I was at sixteen hundred this whole entire time, but again, it was just kind of low at the lower level. So as we keep going up, obviously more light, more lights coming in. So I was definitely still at sixteen hundred this whole entire time. Let's see here. You can tell that's him in the car. I'm going to clip this because I think I can use the sound for this. So yeah, let's see, I guess what I can do is do this. I'm going to detach the sound for that. And I'm just going to get rid of this clip altogether because I think Yeah, I can definitely probably make that louder and kind of, and let's see what the analyzation can do for us already. Let's analyze that sound for us. Uh, make some loudness happen. Get some, some noise frequency. Let's see what it does now. 
Yeah, that sounds pretty good. All right, then what I'm gonna do is just cut it up just a tad bit. So I can get it more sound again. I think I just used my own my own phone camera microphone for this. I should have put a mic on actually to get these sounds better. But I want to put an equalizer on this. I'm just gonna make this to be more bass. We're gonna see what that sounds like now. There we go. Fix, fix, fixed it. That sounds pretty good actually. All right, awesome. Sounds pretty good. <clears throat> uh, midnight shot. Midnight shot, Jones, what you mean by that? Let me know. Yeah, try to do something here with it. Oh yeah, yeah, we can definitely work with this. Oh yeah, we're definitely working with that. I guess I must have accidentally skipped, just skipped over that part. Let's see here. Let's see, maybe go through here. You still kind of see the car there. I guess I'm gonna stop it there. So this clip can be used for something, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. And then, definitely gonna use this here. With the reserve parking only that popped in there too, definitely using this. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use that. And then it's just gonna get into focus, but man, I'm definitely gonna use the reserve parking only part definitely going to use that. So I'm just going to throw that down here. And it seems like that clip is really slow. So I'm going to put the automatic speed on that already to make that clip just a tad bit longer. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. And, and since I kind of messed up on Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna make this clip a little bit longer. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna make this clip a little bit longer, but I'm gonna think I'm gonna start where it says reserved. Let me see. Yeah, but now I don't like it then. That's another jerk. Jerking it around, it's way too fast. Okay, we'll see. But this, this that clip got potential, so we'll see. We'll see. All right, but I am liking this though. So this is this is a whole little vibe here. I'm gonna put that here. Yeah, this is a whole vibe right here. We're definitely gonna use this. But you can tell he looks back at me and, that's, and that light hit him. So you can definitely tell that's a per boy there. So I'm gonna probably cut that clip to here. Yeah, that's definitely a clip that can has potential. Definitely has potential in here. All right, so now Let's see what we got over here. Let's see here. Let's see what we got here. I do like, I do like this here. So I'm gonna keep this in here. See how far this goes, goes around. Okay. And this is a very, very small clip here. I kind of like everything being out of focus there. So 
go down here and we'll put this on automatic speed as well just because the clip is so short the reason i'm putting these on automatic speed guys because the clip is definitely really really short so i'm just going to go ahead and stretch it out just to see what i can use it for all right so i do like this here yeah i do like this here so i'm gonna eye that And I'm just going to bring it to here, actually. That's it. That's it for that clip. Let's see here. Now I like this. So I'm going to put that there. Small clip again. Throw it in there. This clip is kind of small too, so I'm just gonna automatic speed it too. Right there. All right, guys. Yeah, how did y'all enjoy y'all Easter there? Let me go back here. My fault. Did do you only? Yeah, I gotta see what that says down there. My fault. I gotta see. I got like a little heart thing that's in my way. Do you only use this in LE? What you mean by in LE? Sorry. You have to you have to keep catch me up here. Uh, Jones, catch me up, please. I could be a little slow on the on the on the acronyms and things, so catch me up, please. All right, let's see here. That's a GT thing. I do like this clip here where you can barely see the GT and they come out of frame there. I do like that. So we're going to put that in. And I like how I went to the GT. You can barely see that GT before we go out of focus. But I'm thinking if we slow it down just enough. Oh, okay. Um, I actually, for the video portraits, Jones, I always use uh, the Ninja and I always use Raw. So uh, that's what I always do. Besides, I will say besides, besides that, um, the next video portrait I got coming up, I'm going to use, that one's all in camera, S-Log 3. It's not Raw footage. But most of my video portraits, since I had the Sony A7S III, has, I, I definitely take advantage of the Ninja V with the raw footage because why not, All right? I got it. I got the combination. Why not use it? Um, but the one I'm about to do here, the next one after this one with Haley, I was starting in raw, but the disc that I had, which was actually this right that I have right in front of me, if I can show it here. Uh, let's see here. But let's see if I can get it in frame. Still not coming in frame. This thing is not coming in frame at all. But this this right here, uh, I guess I can. Let's see. I guess I could do this real quick because I think I still got it plugged, and that's the reason why I wasn't trying to unplug it. But I can unplug it now. Uh, is it going to unplug? There we go. All right, now I'm back. All right, cool. So this right here, actually, bam. So on my last shoe, I was using this I just bought it. I just bought a bigger one because it's two terabytes. I always, I've been using the, uh, I forgot what hard drive I always use with my Ninja V. Uh, but it's not a Samsung one. I forgot which one it is. But anyway, I've been using that for forever. So I went ahead and I decided to buy this one, a two terabyte. Lexar, you see right here, decided to buy it. Buy it. And then I uh, had that shoot with Haley, and we went to go do our thing. And it was working pretty good, but then all of a sudden, it just started cutting out. Like, it randomly started cutting out. So, like, it like it was recording, but then it was just stopped. Like, it was doing some weird stuff, right? So, I finally, finally noticed it, like, after we already been working for, like, an hour. So, I'm like, what's going on with my hard drive? Like, it's just stopping all of a sudden. So like, I was just like, I was kind of done with it or whatever. I tried a couple of times and trying to figure out what was going on with it. But at that time, I think we've been shooting for like 20 minutes before I figure out what with Haley did. And I was like, you know what, skip this crap. So I just shot everything in the camera 
with S log. So I didn't use raw with that one at all. So, but that was more, like I said, the, the, the hard drive mal malfunction than anything. But other than that, when I do the, the VPs, I'm definitely using the raw, um, with Ninja V without a doubt. All right. So, all right. Use that one clip, which I think was a pretty good clip. I actually like this one too, because that's actually like more focus up, like more. Let's see here. Yeah, I like that one. Use that little bitty clip. All right. Automatic speed. I know one thing, I can't be up here much longer, guys. I got to wake up at uh, four in the morning and drive to Cincinnati tomorrow and go to work. So I'm about to get off of here in a little bit. Do a couple more clips here. I see. I like the tires, so we may use that tire clip there. It's a possibility we may use that because I don't think I got anything with the tires yet. So I might use that. Dun, 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 dun. All right. All right, definitely gonna use that. That looks pretty good right here. I like that part too. I think that's just when he just kind of comes over the bumps there. We use him. Yeah, so we definitely use that whole entire clip. So the possibility this clip can be used as well. put that in there as well so since I already got this one uh, clip where I just went ahead and modified the sound on this one so I'm not going to use any more sound because I got this one I'm gonna let you hear it again I did again that was all in camera sound too but I was able to fix that and get that sound pretty good yeah I was able to fix that get that sounding pretty good that was pretty good thanks to thanks to the audio all right let's see here That's too much flickering. So I think I like this side over here better. All right, so yeah, this is just way too much flickering and things, but I do kind of like it though. Let me go back and look. I guess I kind of like it. I guess it really doesn't hurt. But this looks better over here. Uh, I think I want to get it from here. Yeah, it looks good. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. So, guys, anybody celebrate or uh, do? Oh, hold huh. on. Let me go back over here. Yes, it is. It is ridiculous. It's not, well. Do you shoot Raw Jones? And if you do, what camera system do you use? Yeah, let me know what, what camera system do you use? Because I was going to say, Raw is pretty big. And I said, because I was just transferring this one from the hard drive. Because now I just use whatever the hard drive I showed y'all earlier, the hard drive at Lexar. I use that just for backup data now. Uh, I don't even use it for my Ninja. So, but what I was going to go there and say is that um, I was able to, this one, this clip only came up to like 250 gigabytes for this whole entire uh, project I did with her for this whole entire shoot. That was like 250 gigabytes. Uh, I think, well, the one I did before that with JoJo and the Blue War thing, that was like 600 and something. But I had like a lot, a lot of clips, and we shot like a lot of times for that one. So that was like almost 600 gigs of uh, for that project. But I would say normally, 
normally I can probably my 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 average job is probably around three, three fifty and under when I do these projects. Let's see here. But the storage does be crazy, though. That's the reason why I kind of... The only reason why I bought the Lexar anyway for two gigabytes, because I just kind of... When I do, I just kind of just leave it on the hard drive anyway. I know I don't be backing up my data at all, guys. I'm going to let y'all know ahead of time. I'm, I live life on the edge out here in these streets. I live life on the edge out here and on these streets. I'm trying to tell y'all, I don't be backing up nothing. Well, obviously my photos, that, that's backed up. That's backed up twice. But like when I got the video files, I don't be backing up nothing. I'm out here living life on the edge, man. Oh, that looks really good right there. With that light there hitting it. Oh, yeah, it looks great. Now, the issue with this now is I just got to get it where I'm not bumping and jumping all over the place. So... I just got to find it where I'm at least a little steady somewhere. Again, I'm running. I'm on 85 guys. So So, yeah, so obviously the go is to you know obviously to go and I definitely need a I think I, I need a wash out where he's actually coming up on the ramp so I'm too bumping that way I think this clip right here is at least got a little steady yeah there we go I'm a little steady here Man, I do like that clip too. A little steady here. But man, I can see I jumped up too much. So I guess I'm going to kind of end it here. Go down. And I guess slowing it down, I guess I can probably stop it a tad bit, but it's not going to be that much. Let's see here what I got here. Yeah, I'd rather have this clip here where he's going up the ramp. All right. Put it over there. Put this down here. All right. I do like that. I do like this part. <laughs> I gotta have him still moving. He kind of stopped there on me. So I'm gonna have him here. That down, go over here. All right, guys, let's see what's going on. Oh, uh, yes, I will probably do that. Um, I do that when I go ahead and have everything already done and the whole entire clip. That's one of my last things that I do. Uh, Jones is my color grading, obviously, because I just don't want to bog down the system. Um, as you can see over here on the corner over here. I do use Magic Bullet Suite right here, as you can see. Uh, this is what I use for my color grading process. I've been using that since forever, since I have started my YouTube videos. To, so I've been using this thing forever. So I do like this system. I do like Magic Bullet Suite. So this is what I normally use, but I definitely do that. That's probably the last thing. I, thought I got everything already in order, ready to go. Everything's beat to the cut. That's the, probably the last exact thing that I do. 
is the whole color grading process of this. But what I knew, I think, now speaking of color grading, I hope I need to put all my LUTs, see my LUTs even get on, right? Let me put that on, because all of that should have been on, but it wasn't, and I thought I did. There we go. And I thought I put all of this on here already. Dun, 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 dun. already did all of these but apparently we did not apparently we did not do it but it's all good let's do it now because I don't have that many clips yet to do so we'll just do that now yeah all right cool clips already done this clips already done that clip is not done yet do this as well. All right. Now all these clips should be done. Nope. Got one more. Mm. I'm glad you reminded me of that because this is one of the things I definitely be forgetting. I always kind of double check, but I do like go ahead and clicking on all my my LUTs and things as I'm doing this process as well. So I don't have to really worry about it later. Put that thing on there. But yeah, definitely, that's what I used. I, I definitely use this in Bullet Suite right here to do all my color grading and things of that nature. Definitely without a doubt. And with this one, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, to be honest. I think, man, since this is definitely car focus. And as you see with Nicole's outfit, it's definitely got that whole grunge and just car vibe. I don't know what I'm going to think about doing with this head now thinking about it. How I'm going to color grade this. I think I think and I'm going to definitely do a grungy type situation of color grade and everything and just lighting. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think on top of my head. I definitely think I'm going to do that though. All right. All right. I'm going to do one more clips here and then I'm going to sign off for this. So I can go to sleep, man. For real. Let's see if I can use this clip here. Well, I do like, I do like this clip here. Let's see, about right here when he's driving up. I think I can mash it with the other clip I have where I was kind of on the other angle. So I definitely, then I have to stop it right here. Cause then you'd be able to see him and that's not going to work out. Even though I love this clip right here, it's what I really want to use right here. I love this one right here, man. Can't use it. Or I could like do a mask and mask him out, but I'm not, not I'm not doing all that. I'm going to be honest with y'all guys. I'm not doing all that. All right. So that is done now. Uh, let's see, I only have one clip there. Make sure I cut this on as well. Put everything on. All right, cool. Since that was an easy one, I, I said I thought it was going to be a little bit longer. That was pretty easy to do that one. So I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to do one more. That's a little bit longer. Maybe got like a bunch of stuff in there. That's pretty good. Let's see here. Put that in there because that clip can probably be used for something. Uh, that clip can probably be used for something. I don't know yet, but definitely can probably be used for something. In particular, let's see then. 
who's on the rooftop here and I got some more quick scenes here yeah this is a scene all right let's see here definitely going to start it from let's see where they're blown out definitely can start this clip from here I definitely love this clip here everything looks good put this thing down here That whole clip looks good. All right. That whole thing looks good. I do be um, also be using, man, I do use, um, let's see, my whole, uh, I guess I can tell you what I'm using. I always use Rec 2020P Q when I do these as well with the raw thing. Which is a whole HDR type situation, which... That's a whole nother thing, but I do like editing in the HDR format. Okay. Let's see what else we can use in here. I do like this side of it. Let's see here. I like this here. Bam, that's a good clip. All right. I like that clip too. I gotta get the other car out the way so we can go here. I do like this whole clip where he's driving. Let's see a little closer. All right, cool. That works. I hope clip works. I'm going to put this in here because I'll probably have to cut this up a little bit later about what I want to do. I may speed ramp this whole thing, actually. But I do like it. All right, now I'm going to do one more. And then I'm gonna definitely going to get off here, guys, because... I definitely got to do some things so I can get ready for work in the morning. Let's see here. Like this, coming up the ramp at the very top level. So you really can't, s you can see somebody in there, but from there you can definitely see as a guy. But again, if I'm running these clips pretty, pretty simple, then you really won't be able to notice it anyway. But like this. And again, I like the like the car coming on. So this actually got a lot of potential here. Let's see here. I like that clip definitely, so I'm gonna put that in there. Definitely like that clip. And then, what I talked about earlier, and I like this clip too, like coming up right here. I love this clip here. It started here actually. I played it to there. And then, Get me out of it. Come here. All right, I'm gonna put this in here. Then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mark where I wanna do the speed ramping at, and then I'm gonna get off of here. Uh, so I'm gonna go through here. All oh, this can be slowed down. Bam, right before my shadow gets on it. I'm gonna mark that because that's where I'm on the speed ramp. And then all the way until my shadow gets off at the end there. All right, that's one speed ramp. All right. And then I will probably
started here for another speed went in the slow motion while the sun hits it right there yeah that looks great then go off here get a speed ramp here and then I'll probably do something there okay cool all right so that's going to be my last thing there. I'm going to be over and done with it, guys. I do appreciate y'all guys rocking with this live again. Man, I was on there pretty freaking long, an hour and 20 minutes, a little bit too long for me. You know how I do it, guys. I love being in and out of these things, man. So I do want to, I do appreciate it, guys. Be on the lookout for my videos. It's going to be dropping on Friday. My BTS it will be dropping on Friday. I think y'all guys will like this. It's a little different. This one's going to be a little different, the BTS I'm dropping on Friday. Uh, it's going to be a little, a little, a little different, a little different. So again, if y'all have any other things y'all want to say, oh man, I'm freaking tired, man. I got to go ahead and do a lot of things now. Pack lunch, do all that good jazz, but I do appreciate y'all rocking with me guys. And of course, guys, if y'all like my stuff, please consider yourself subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate it. And also to the next freaking video or live whichever one I do first. Uh, let me pull up my big screen here. All right, let's see here. Catch you next time. Thank you, M. Jones. I do, I mean, I just called you M. Jones. We do got M. Jones. But thank you, Jones Collective Media, for coming in, tapping in, and sh giving out some feedback and talking to him. I do appreciate that. Uh, it made it kind of interactive. Guys, This I'm still kind of kind of get used into all doing these talks and edits because they're, they're pretty difficult. Because it's like, I got to focus on you know, getting the editing done, but I also got to focus on trying to be in, in, engaging with y'all guys in the chat. So it's a little bit difficult. I think as time go on, I keep doing these more and more. I'm kind of getting a little bit better at it. At it. I wish y'all let me know at the comments if I am getting better at it now or how I can improve on being a little bit more engaging with y'all guys or just kind of having conversation. But, you know, it's a lot got it's a lot going on here. So I'm thinking I'm getting a little bit better at it. Uh, but let me know if I have any suggestions to make it even better than what I, what it is. So I'm definitely being, be, uh, you know, take those in considerations as well. But, all right, guys, I do appreciate it. Let me get over here. Same here. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, definitely, again, be on the lookout for my BTS that's going to be dropping on Friday, guys. That's going to be, it's going to be interesting. I'm trying to tell you, man, it's definitely going to be an interesting video. It's going to, I 